Hey guys, it's me, Brittany, AKA Pineapple Vegan. And to find out how I made these amazing homemade Reese's peanut butter cups, stay tuned. You don't want to miss it. So you need vegan chocolate chips, natural peanut butter, maca powder, only a little bit, butter, don't come for me, these are Reese's, they're gonna be fat. Imitation butter, you're only gonna end up using a drop of this. And then vanilla, you're only gonna use a drop of this as well. And obviously you need cupcake holders. So I have these little basic cupcake tins. You will need plant-based milk as well. And you're gonna need two bowls. You can melt your chocolate and stuff with a saucepan, but it's gonna take too much time and I really just wanna get done. I don't like using the microwave, but I'm gonna use it today. All right. So let's go ahead and open our chocolate. And I'm just gonna make a bunch because my kids are gonna be pissed off if I make these and don't give them any. I'm just gonna use unsweetened vanilla for this. It's probably about two tablespoons of milk, if that much. I'm gonna microwave this till it melts. I've only melted it about halfway right now. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and add in a little bit of that butter imitation, the imitation butter, like a drop, because this is very strong. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add my vanilla, and you only need a drop of this as well. Okay, I'm so sad because I'm almost out of this vanilla. My mother-in-law actually gifted this to me. She got this for me when she went to the Dominican Republic about a year ago, and I'm almost out, and I love it, it's so good. Okay, and just give it like a quick little mix. It looks so beautiful and creamy. Ooh, got some on my finger. Basically homemade milk chocolate because I add in that plant milk and it's bomb. It's not as bitter as vegan chocolate normally is. Okay, so our chocolate is pretty melted. Yeah. And all I'm gonna do is get a little bit of that butter. Literally like a thin little Super thin. Okay, and that butter is instantly melting as soon as I put it in there because this is still hot. All right, and now we are going to do our peanut butter. So the peanut butter is not as thick as the chocolate, but it still needs to be a little creamier. I don't know how much I'm gonna put in there, but don't nobody want some thin Reese's. You want plenty of peanut butter, right? Okay. And what you're gonna do now is get your maca. For those of you who don't know, maca powder, it supports energy and vitality. If you like malts, then you'll love maca powder. Um, and it has like a slight nutty taste. That's why I'm adding it to my peanut butter for my Reese's because Reese's kind of have like a, um, it's like a thick peanut butter. It's not smooth or creamy. It's like a floury peanut butter. And I wanna use a maca for that. I think that will be perfect. I'm gonna add one and a half teaspoons of maca powder. And I'm gonna go ahead and microwave it so I can thin it out just a little bit. Okay, so I microwaved it for like 15 seconds. I don't want it too runny. There we go. Super creamy. All right, it's time to get our sheets. So you're gonna put a little bit of chocolate at the bottom and kind of smooth it out at the bottom. And I'm actually gonna add a little bit more milk to this because I want more of a milk chocolate and not the bitterness of the dark chocolate. Ooh, there we go. That's the color I want. I want it like that milk chocolate brown, not that super dark brown, which ain't nothing wrong with super dark brown, okay? Let's put some more. And we're gonna do that to all of them. So I'm just gonna smooth them out. And make sure you smooth them up the side. Almost like a, a, a little bowl, you know, or a little plate, because the bowl is kind of deep. Bring it up on the sides a little bit, but kind of make the center a hole, or a bowl, because you don't want to see the bottom of the liner. Okay, so now, 
let's do our peanut butter. Get a good size dollop. Um, don't judge my dollops because we love peanut butter in this house. This is a peanut butter household. So after you scoop up the size, you're gonna put your big blob of peanut butter in the center. So let me go ahead and put my other chocolate on top to seal the deal. So all you're gonna do is gently spread that chocolate over the peanut butter. Try not to blend it, cause you want it to be an encasement. You don't want them to kind of mix together. It's not gonna be perfect. Um, if you want it to be more smooth and flat on top, you can definitely use a spoon. And all I would do is probably spray like some oil, cooking oil on the spoon and just kind of make sure that the chocolate doesn't stick to it. But these are fine for me. All right, you guys, so that's basically it. Now I'm just gonna freeze them for about an hour to two hours, however long it takes for them to firm up. And I'll be back so that we can try them together. See you in a second. Okay, you guys, so I went ahead and took them out of the holder so they look all recess y and stuff. As you can see, some of the peanut butter is overflowing, but we don't care. We like a lot of peanut butter in our peanut butter cups. So, yeah, let's go ahead and let our little taste tester try them. Mmm, it's good. Let me see. I want to show them the inside. Perfect, y'all. These look phenomenal. Don't make them hungry. <laughs> All right, you guys, so that's really it. Very easy, very simple, straight to the point. The longest part of it is waiting for them to set and freeze and get ready. I only made a few, so they're obviously not gonna last long in my house. I'm probably honestly gonna have to make a whole nother batch because when his brothers get home, they're gonna kill these. If you want them a little sweeter, you can add a little bit of agave or a little bit of 100% maple syrup. They don't need it, they really don't. But if you want to, you can definitely add that. You can add caramel, you can add Rice Krispies to it to get like that crunch bar type vibe. If you wanna see more candy videos, let me know because I have so many candy recipes. I have a vegan snicker recipe that is to die for and I have a Twix recipe that is to die for. So yeah, stay tuned. You're just killing this Reese's, Jace. <laughs> I guess they are good. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. And if you make them, please let us know. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and click the notification button so that you'll be notified whenever I upload a video. Yes, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.